Okay, today I'm going to see about uh, making a bow drill friction fire just using what's in my pockets, uh, or uh, actually not even that. Uh, I'm just going to actually have a set of uh, keys that most of us would always carry. And, believe it or not, one of these keys is actually a small little knife blade. So I'll show that a little bit better in a second. But uh, These are some uh, pieces of... Uh, Looks like live oak uh, branches. Uh, they're just kind of found out here in this wooded area. And uh, we'll see if we can use uh, this small little blade and one of my uh, shoelaces today to see about uh, if we can successfully get a friction fire going. Okay, the other day I went to a store called Harbor Freight and they actually have a, I don't know, a nifty little, uh, just a cheap little key knife concept um, this little single blade uh, only costs like two or three bucks um, and I'm gonna give this a try today to see if I can fashion a bow drill set and try to get a friction fire going hey I'm gonna see about this might make for a decent spindle so basically what I'm doing is just kind of doing a little beaver cut just around try to thin thin down the branch here if I can cut off this Okay, for the for my bow, um, I don't know. I always like to kind of carve a little V notch on the very tip, you know, on both ends, basically. Uh, see about using a shoelace, actual shoelace for a bowstring. What I'm going to do with the shoelace is just tie a simple knot and loop it over the bow here. something like that and then on the other side just have it so the loop on the other side here figure out where I made my other V on the other end but what I'm gonna do is try something called the uh, what's well, gonna be a hybrid of the Egyptian bow drill method. So what I'm going to do is see how this will work out. A little bind on itself like that. So I've got a lot of extra slack on the bow itself. And what I'll do is wrap the bow string several times around the spindle. Like so. So what I'm going to do is actually just take the knife blade from my key here and just kind of scrape it perpendicular to make scraping so it'll be some more fibrous material. And just do a little bit of this to uh, put in the middle of my pine needle tinder bundle here. As you can see, I've got just this nice, really thin shavings or scrapings that I'll uh, compress a little bit and just make a nice little depression in my little my bird's nest or tinder bundle and put the coal inside of here. So what I'll do is just take one of these leaves and tuck it, just kind of mash it right down into the bearing block handhold. So kind of just create a little bit of a mush. So you got this green vegetation cellulose. It will help stave off any unwanted friction up by the bearing block. So choice isn't working out so well. I have a feeling my spindle was too skinny. Alright, uh, working with oak didn't pan out so well so let's try for plan B. 
So I think I found uh, the pine tree. There's some branches that look like they might be suitable. Let's see if any of them will break off. Yeah. Uh -huh, there we go. So, pine I usually have really good luck with. So let's see if I can break off a couple of these branches here. And of course it's not been on the ground. It's probably part of the problem I had with the oak. So it was a branch that was pretty much on the ground. All right, let's see if I can muster up something here. All right, it uh, took, I don't know, probably another 45 minutes or so uh, to fashion a new fireboard and a new spindle. So both of these are from the pine branch I just found. And I'm going to use the same bearing block I used before, which is the piece of oak. Use some more green vegetation for the lubricant. Uh, already carved the notch. So we'll give it another try. went with pine the first time. Looks good. Yep. I think. And those fall cinders. Hmm. You seem to stretch it. That looks better. Not very graceful, but at least it worked. Get it so you can see it's smoking. See how my shoestring held up. Not too bad. It did stretch. That was one thing I wasn't really expecting. Some wear and tear, just from being thinned out a little bit. Spindle. Bearing block. Pine fireboard. All using this little keychain knife. 
and the blade isn't very sharp anymore, so it doesn't keep an edge very well. little blister right here from having to hold it. It's not a very good handle either. Cool. It's doable if you had to. It's one of those kind of thing things. But if all you had was what you had in your pockets and on your person in some way, whether it be a shoelace or a strip of clothing or something like that to use as a improvised uh, bowstring. If you got lost out in the woods for some reason, you had to, you could have at least an opportunity to get a fire going. I almost forgot to mention one other little tidbit. Is usually on my keychain, I also have a small mini ferro rod. So. Uh, I purposely didn't have it on today, just to kind of push the point of seeing if I can make a friction fire using less than ideal tools and materials. So, worst case, if I had this along, of course the blade on this isn't so great. This would have made all the difference. And it's actually but about as light as a key. And small enough as a key. And all I did was use a little bit of a spider wire to wrap around the ferro rod blank here to make a loop so I can link it onto the keychain. I used, uh, I don't know, this is like 80 pound test spider wire. So heavy duty stuff. This, uh, I've been carrying this thing around for a couple of years now and never had a problem. Good stuff.